Hi guys, I'm Min, CEO of Razor, and I am here today at Tweak Town, you know, to introduce, uh, you know, a product that we launched just two weeks ago at CES, and this is the Razer Edge gaming tablet. So, what is the Razer Edge gaming tablet? Well, simply put, it is the world's first tablet designed specifically for PC gamers and by PC gamers. About a year ago, we presented a concept device called Project Fiona at CES. And what we did after that was to kind of reach out to everyone on my Facebook page and on the Razer's Facebook page to kind of ask them what they wanted to see in a um, gaming tablet. And as all of you guys probably at Tweak Town too, a real opinionated bunch, so we got a lot of feedback. We had a lot of feedback, over 10,000 PC gamers kind of weighed in their comments, and we took all of their comments. We took the CPU, the GPU suggestions, we took um, additional features and stuff like that, and put it all together into the Razer Edge. So, the world's first tablet designed specifically for PC gamers by PC gamers. Um, it's pretty much three things. Um, essentially, it is the world's most powerful uh, tablet. It's got a Core i7, it's got a dedicated GPU. It's probably the only you know, tablet in the world with a dedicated GPU. Um, Core i7, GT640 MLE, uh, it's got eight gigs of RAM, um, and that's, you know, first up, the world's most powerful tablet. Secondly, it has, uh, it's a full-fledged PC. It runs all Windows 8 applications out of the box, no need for optimization, no need for, for all that kind of porting and all that kind of stuff. Out of the box, it runs. And thirdly, and um, it's got pretty much four use cases. It's a tablet, it's a PC, it's a console, and um, so it's tablet, as you can see. Windows 8 tablet, you know, you can go into desktop mode, um, or it needs the internet. Um, but, you know, it's a tablet, it's, um, about this, it's about two pounds, it's uh, really light. It has USB 3.0 as well, right? It has got a USB 3.0 port. Which is really here. handy, so it's got a full speed USB, of course. Which Absolutely. Is good. Yeah. You, can, you can add in, um, you know, a terabyte drive. If you want to put in a, a 4G modem or a 3G modem, it's all up to you. Uh, so it's a tablet and it can be converted to a PC. So for the guys who want to use it in PC form factor, boom. Now this is still a prototype, so I'm not going to show all of it, but uh, for the guys of whom want to use it for productivity, you can, boom, just put it on and it becomes a full-fledged PC. Mm -hmm. For your MMOs, there is also an additional USB port on the side. You can plug in a mouse and uh, full, you know, it's, Beautiful, gorgeous screen, 10.1 inch, uh, 10.1 inches, and we, you know, we make the best gaming peripherals on the planet, and we've put all of that into the keyboard. It is incredible. So, you know, this is not the final ID, but you kind of get the idea. This makes it pretty much like the thinnest, lightest um, gaming laptop, so to speak. So it's a tablet, it's a PC, and it's a mobile console. What I will do is, let me just grab it. Why don't you pop that out? I'll just pop that in. Just give me one of the controllers. Perfect. So, it's a mobile console too. What you can do is, if you want to go out onto the subway or, uh, let me see. I can essentially, let me just get to Steam first. Put it in big picture. This is Steam big picture. Mm -hmm. And I can, boom, let's see, try Dishonored. Dishonored on the go, let's go. And this is a full-fledged gaming PC. It's a PC game, it's not Angry Birds, it's running uh, PC games. Yeah, I noticed the response time is pretty good as well. Is it, is it running an SSD or a hard drive? It is running an SSD. Okay. It is running an SSD, and um, for the first time ever, you're actually seeing an actual PC game. Uh, running at, this is about 60 frames per second for mm -hmm. Dishonored, a game from last year. It's a good game. Uh, let me see if I can. It's loading. Ba, ba, ba. Key. Continue. So this runs out of the box with any PC game. No need for optimization. As long as it runs on a gamepad, this gamepad mode works. Impressive. So, Welcome home, Lord Protector. PC game. Right, so let's say if you're done from, you know, you know you, you've taken the subway, you've reached home, you want to, you know, get back, but, you know, you're happy with the 10.1 inch screen, but you want like a massive screen to play on. 
So what you do is you, you can actually pop it out, boom, and pop it into. Thank you very much. I've got all these little elves to help me. <laughs> a home console. Yeah. So this is what we call the home console mode. It's got a HDMI out. It's got three USBs and digital to the one on top of this. There's, so it's four USBs if you need to. And the HDMI out is over here. I'm sorry. And what you can do is kind of get this permanently attached. What I, what I use it is like how I use it is um, I've got a big screen um, attached to this with my Black Widow keyboard and my Death Adder mouse. It's always on there. So every time I just pop it on, boom, it's onto a big screen and I'm using my mouse and keyboard. Other guys, if they use it in a dorm, they can have this with two saber tooth, um, you know, uh, controllers or, or uh, PC gamepad controllers. And it's like a home console. So it's a tablet. It's a PC, it's a mobile console, and it is a home console. All right, I mean, well, if we can finish off with uh, a couple of questions, especially um, the sure. price, can you, can you tell us about that? Absolutely. So the Razer Edge comes in two flavors. There are two you know, models with that. There's the base model and there's the Pro model, the Razer Edge and the Razer Edge Pro. The Razer Edge comes with uh, Core i5. It uh, comes with a GT640, of course, and um, with 4 gigs of RAM and 64 gigs of uh, SSD. That's going to start at $9.99. And we've also got the Pro model, which is a Core i7 640ML-E uh, with uh, 8 gigs of RAM and 128 SSD. That's going to come out at $12.99 US. Okay, and then the final question is uh, shipping. When are, you, when are you expecting for uh, consumers to be able to, gamers you know, around the world, to be able to pick up this, uh, this product? Right, so at this point of time, we're only announcing availability in the US. It's going to happen in the next couple of weeks. So it's going to be really, really quite soon. Um, for the rest of the world, we're kind of, kind of pacing it. We're hoping to kind of launch it in the, re uh, in the rest of the uh, countries before the end of the year, but fingers crossed, you know, we'll announce it when we're ready. Okay, well, thank you very much for your time. Thank you very much, uh, and it's good to see you guys. Okay. Thank you. Bye.